Hello, I'm Raging Amish, and welcome to a rapid-fire review of the Bison in Call of Duty Ghost. Some of you may call this weapon the Bison, but I'm calling it the Bison. Get used to it. Whatever, whatever, I'll do what I want. The first of six SMGs, the Bison is available for free at the start of any prestige. Like all weapons in tier, the Bison is fully automatic, and seeing as this is an SMG, you can count on a really good fire rate. The Bison clocks in at an insane fire rate of 937 RPM. That is a bit above average. To make matters even better, the bullet damage is solid up close at 42 points, but sadly, you do drop all the way down to 17 at a distance. You can pull off a 3 to 6 hit kill depending on where your target is. This is very typical for an SMG. Up close, your power is amazing, but at a distance, your performance drops. This is especially prevalent on the Bison. Your damage will start to fall at 10 meters and completely falls off at 18 meters. The three hit kill range is very short. And to throw out another unfortunate point, your bullet penetration power is low. I must stress, this performance is to be expected. SMGs are close quarter specialists. This weapon has a high fire rate combined with a three hit kill in close quarters. You should be very watchful to make sure you don't get caught in long range fights. Believe me, at long range, you'd be way better off with something else. Oh, I see. It's like that, is it? Should you be fortunate enough to hit an enemy in the head, however, the Bison gets a decent 50% damage boost. You can potentially kill an enemy with just 2-4 to four shots, and as we'll see shortly, the recoil of our nature is very vertical, so you can count on getting a headshot from time to time. Overall, you can count on your bullet power up close, but how's the capacity? With such a high fire rate, you need a big mag, and thankfully the Bison accommodates. By default, the gun holds 36 rounds. Coupled with three starting mags, you can count on a loadout of 108 bullets. But you will chew through this pretty quickly. I would highly recommend bringing the perk fully loaded in your class, so you have the default starting max loadout of 252 rounds. Try mixing in extended mags too. You get more ammo, and it can only help. Seeing as we're talking about an SMG, the weapon's overall pace is quite high. Your movement rate is fast at 100%, the hip fire spread is tight, and your ADS time is lightning quick at 200 milliseconds. Unfortunately though, the gun takes a downturn when you take a look at your reloads. By default, your mag will refill in 3 seconds, or 3.8 seconds if completely empty. Either way, you have a 1.93 second add time. As you can guess, this is a weakness on the Bison. You have a monstrous fire rate, but sadly, these reloads are some of the worst you'll find outside of the LMGs. And that's... bad. <laughs> well, yeah! When we take a look at the recoil profile, things don't get much better. By default, the profile is not symmetric and instead heads up and to the right. The center speed, thankfully, is quite high at 1600, but this matters little. The Bison's fire rate is so high that the recoil is strong. I would highly advise bringing a grip to bring the gun under control. On a slight redeeming note, however, the irons are crystal clear. Don't bother using a sight. This gun doesn't need one. Instead, go get a foregrip. You can thank me later. Overall, the Bison plays a lot like the PP90M1 from Modern Warfare 3. You have an SMG with decent capacity, a monstrous fire rate, low kick, low damage at range, and a very quick damage drop off. This gun will not be for everyone. Outside a range of 10 meters, the Bison simply isn't all that great. But with the right playstyle, this squirt gun can be a monster on the battlefield. That concludes this review of the Bison in Call of Duty Ghost. What should I review next? Leave your comments below. Until next time, this is Raging Amish, checking out.